Welcome to your magical moon message, ladies and gentlemen. This is the peace dealer. Uh, but if you're not aware, I'm just a wild level 31 Pikachu roaming around Root Hualapai. Okay, uh, so, you know, hopefully I don't get into any wild random Pokemon encounters or some random trainer doesn't try and catch me or anything. Um, and I've actually kind of created it. a great way to think about dating is to think about Pokemon. Random rant right here. Dating is a lot like Pokemon because you have like, you have like psychological wills, which is like your HP. And what you'll notice is that in some cases, when order, in order to catch a Pokemon, you have to weaken them first. And some people psychologically can play games with you to kind of like weaken your resistance or strength. And then people will try and pick you up or hit on you or catch you when you're at your weakest. Be mindful of people like that. This is, this is just like an analogy to Pokemon where some people can't necessarily influence you at your strongest. So they have to whittle you down. They have to weaken you. And then they can catch you or put you on their side. Okay? But you're not a Pokemon. So you're not meant to live inside a Pokeball. Unless, you know, that's your thing. Some of you have fetishes. Anyway, Moon and Taurus, Sun and Aries. We're manifesting the power we activated. I actually like a cycle like this because it's coinciding with this whole notion of restarting the zodiac wheel proper. And so to give you context for this, the new moon in Aries had us activate original raw power. And not just original raw I wanted you to see that. It said 1333. And not just original raw power, but with Chiron, it was the turnkey into the identification of a new sense of your identity relative to cycles that have overlapped a much more ascended understanding of how to activate your power. This, relative to this new cycle, has risen new conflict and is seeing you turn around, okay, any sense of conflict that had you on the, I don't want to say losing end, but this is a turning point where you're literally gaining victory over your enemies. I just don't want to frame it like that because it's not as simple as you have enemies and you're getting victory over them because you also have friends that you're coming into support with. But it's very important for me to distinctly, as Jupiter comes out of Pisces, mention that at least even if we say hypothetically, the whole notion of one side that has been pushing deception and falsity, we don't have to say that that's bad. Let's take morality out of it. We don't say it's good or bad, but one side pushing falsity uh, is now going to lose grip considerably as those who've been maintaining truth and integrity are going to be coming through. And we're all experiencing that individually, okay? Because people can be muddled about what side they're on and we don't have to look at this as sides, but it's, ooh, are they building something? So this used to be a church. Remember the other video where I said they changed stuff? This is crazy. They just changed it. So remember the last video I showed you Sears? This was a whole nother sign before. This is the first time I'm seeing them manifest Moon and Taurus, a new sign. This was a church. And I don't know if it might be a dispensary now, because if so, uh, <laughs> to be so close to me, that'd be crazy. But other than that, yeah, this is the application of Moon and Taurus. It's manifesting a brand new brand over what used to be uh, called something else. And the church is actually down there. But that sign used to be something entirely different. So that's amazing. I wonder what kind of store they're building. That legitimately looks like a dispensary. And considering that, uh, I have one like way farther, like 30 minute walk, this would be so convenient. Anyway, other than that, um, I just kind of wanted to illustrate that because a lot of the self-esteem Taurus has to do with confidence, self-esteem, second house issues that were undermined by certain forces. You're getting ready to turn that around and now see how 
instead of it being undermined, the same influence you have power over, power Aries over Taurus, okay? So you're manifesting the value of this new identity, which expressly is limitless in conjunction to Uranus. That's gonna have you understand the unconventional means with which to eccentrically express this value and already come into the supernatural manifestation of your abilities through Moon and Gemini, where you'll get an intellectual understanding of what the heck you manifest. I was gonna say what the F and awake. Okay, so other than that, this is going to be amazing because the moon's going to be squaring Saturn. You're going to come into cosmic knowledge of what's grounding and a whole bunch of stuff is going to package itself before it expresses in Gemini and says, this is what I am. OK, so regardless of that, let's talk a bit about this activation. The activation of this cycle is moon and Aries, moon and Taurus, moon and Gemini. Then we have the integration which is moon and cancer, all right, when the seed breaks through the ground. Then we have moon and Leo, and then we have moon and Virgo. The final integration before moon and Libra, the full moon, where we harvest the seed. It's now fully out the ground, it's ready to be harvested, and the character that we're activating, we're now feeling what about it we're expressing to others socially, and how receptive we are to the social, response to this new character jesus says hi and he loves you okay what's also very important is you know your self-esteem is going to also be activating before we step into Taurus season so this is a bit of a sneak peek the way you feel about your value is not the way you're going to feel about your value in a short month as a legend has said, uh, yesterday's feature price is not today's feature price. So you're really going to be feeling about the value of your character. And because this is an activation cycle, you are activating new superpowers. And so relative to what you've activated, I know myself, I've experienced a direct application of this utilization where I've used the power, but my awareness of using it was not only much more direct and aligned with my mind, Mercury, in that it used to lag. I used to think about doing something and it would take a while. Now it's starting to synchronize so much quicker. Well, literally synchronicity right here too. That's an infinity car. So other than that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the moon in Sag the moon in Taurus is now manifesting the activation of this power through the grounded physical quality, okay? Quality is fixed, physical is earth sign, and grounded is Taurus. The grounded physical quality, this is it. Are you ready? Soul, that's a soul card, to make things from your soul real, to make the expression and application of this power real. Here's the first thing. It involves Uranus and the nodes. So not only are you destined to do this, you can't escape this. There's no way to worry about how to do this because it's going to square Aquarius. It's going to pr directly provide how, which is going to be the challenge. All right. You're going to know what you're manifesting. But how do you feel about your worth in the challenge of the mainstream narrative? OK, so, for example, you can drop a classic album but the mainstream narrative is that your album is whack when really it's fire, okay? that. So how is your self-esteem? And this is where you have people of quality saying your album is fire, Taurus, but people of quantity having a differing opinion. How is your self-esteem influenced by such experiences? Remember, it is always quality over quantity. So just keep this in mind, because Aquarius is an aspect of quantity, too. I mean, quality as well. It's cosmic quality, air quality, knowledgeable quality. So this doesn't have to be bad. This could even be reinforced where the narrative kind of aligns with your own personal value. This is what the square will adjust. But the real important thing here is with Uranus, this is going to be superbly controversial. In this activation of firepower through Aries that will ground with Uranus, 
you over the next couple of days are manifesting eccentric unconventionality like never before in that what you're manifesting according to science doesn't even exist and uranus is invisible so you're going to have to wrap your mind around the supernatural practical manifestation of aries your power air and this says fire so the reason why that's lit literally is this is actually the transit where it's going to be real everything you activated yesterday which kicked it off is going to be real to where the moon in gemini is going to have you start to think about oh my gosh i just i just opened up my sling ring and like dr strange i walked through a portal okay coming into moon in gemini where dr strange now actually starts to practice magic so we're here um and other than that what you ground you want to just spend this moon in taurus transit feeling into your value what is the value of your identity and how does that build your confidence because the moon is exalted here just like the sun is exalted here so this is a very powerful transit and you want to make sure you make the most of it okay so keep your mind and soul focused on what you desire what it is you want to manifest but you have to feel limitless here's the cheat code through this you're an infinity year now screw what anyone else says focus on that and find ways to continue to manifest that's not enough to just feel it really also live it too and you're gonna find coming into virgo how you integrate said self-esteem into your behavior but this isn't about just gassing yourself it's about authentically tapping into the limitless nature of your value what this is going to do is it's going to bring opposing influences who seek to undermine that value and you want to welcome and invite that because it's airy season so you can kick their ass all right whether by you just leading by example to where you never have to touch them physically or you know laying hands on them physically because you need to baptize their face uh with fire water earth you know what i'm saying smack the smack the elements out of them or in them in them okay and i do not condone violence unless it's coming from the heart and you're beating someone up violently with love in your heart, then that's just conducive. It's it's just it's just it's just positive that way. You should never do anything without loving your heart, even if it means stomping someone out. Other than that, yeah, uh, don't mind my tone. I'm not <clears throat> directing this towards anybody. It's just you know how people be, you know how energy be. But other than that, you must feel into how valuable you are. That's gonna charge it. That's gonna influence the decisions you make after you really tap into this because what you're doing is activating and the unlocking of the south node in scorpio is exposing all sorts of you know sexual deviancy and and stories but it's also exposing the pureness and those who are who have integrity this purity is what's going to really unlock a lot of supernatural abilities through this period and the moon and Taurus will have these happen to that too um what else? We do have the trine to Pluto that will intensify how extremely you're manifesting this power. But you want to really just open up to the fact that what you're manifesting has never been manifested before. Many of you will manifest your own currency and new value through this power you're manifesting that by next year will be complete enough to the point where you can fully now actually step into this new character like Spider-Man fighting for the Avengers or Doctor Strange. Other than that, y'all, I want to make an announcement. Airy Season Monthly Peace Report. We're going to do the uh, webinar in another couple hours. That's free now. For those of you who bought the Aries webinar, I changed it to Taurus. So you officially got the tickets to Tauruses. Um, and you don't have to buy that because you bought it already. Okay? If you're a part of Infinity Club, you already got the link for that. Don't even trip. I'm going to post it close to that. And you should be getting PowerPoints in the email. So rock out with me. I'm going to make airy season membership free uh, just so we can actually just start with tour season and I can give you an idea of what we're working with. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoy this transit. This is going to be one for the books because it's going to make supernaturally real everything that we've been cultivating. We don't have any earth energy. So every time we come into Taurus, it compounds every month super real. The last thing I have to say is stop giving a fuck what other people feel. Some of you are giving too much attention to literal idiots who just want to get your attention. And that's about it. Okay. Other than that, focus on who actually, you know, acknowledges your value. 
That's the square to Aquarius. Don't focus on people who are trying to just waste your time. Focus on people who nurture and water you and also nurture and water people who you feel are valuable too. Y'all stay blessed as always. Godspeed. And until next time.